All right, so this should be a quick video. I simply want to share what I learned. I'm new to Vercel. So what I did was I went ahead and create a, created a .env local file because I wanted to store the information for my API keys and whatnot in this environment as an environment variable, right? This is a way to obfuscate the information. Am I saying that word right? That's okay. But nonetheless, it's not completely hidden. But the nice thing I learned about Vercel is that your app actually won't work if you use that env local just within your web application and your deployment you actually need to add that to vercel all right so just before we get started here in my client app originally i had in my previous videos all of the information publicly available right and again this is intentional and firebase but nonetheless i think it's nice to still hide it as much as you can at least make it hard to find the information the nice thing again with vercel is that when you commit to your master and you commit, right, Vercel rebuilds your app. And if you remember, and in mostly all developments I've ever seen, is that .env files are not are part of the Git ignored. So it doesn't make it to Git. So as a result, when Vercel runs a build, it doesn't get included, and so your app actually doesn't work. And and so the best part about that, right? is that means you have to make your environment variables accessible in Vercel. And that's how they did that, and which is awesome, right? So when you go to Vercel and you go to your app, all right, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Settings, okay? And from here, you're going to want to go to Environment Variables and then paste in all of the variables that you have. Okay, so as you can see, I have my next public storage bucket, so on and so on and so on. The nice thing is if you wanted to add more, you can literally just go to your .env file, copy that whole thing, paste it into this box, and it will recognize every single entity and then we'll save it for you. So once you save that and then you uh, click on redeploy for your app, so if I go back, to my deployments when it failed what you're going to want to do is you can go ahead and click here or in any of those items as you can see these were uh, failures before you can click on redeploy what will happen then is Vercel will then run a build again and then will include the environment variables that you have just exposed on our website so then your app should be working again so I hope that was helpful thanks for watching good luck